Well, good morning to Mia fans. Um, a little bit of a different uh, filming location here today. Uh, I'm down in my cellar, which I've got under my house, which is like a climate controlled and sort of humidity controlled, so I can keep a lot of my kits down here, so I know they're not gonna get damaged with uh, deterioration over time. Basically down here, if you've ever seen any of my shorts or any of my Instagram stuff, this side here is all stuff I've built, and this side here is all new inbox stuff, except for uh, obviously the 5B. But um, yeah, this is all the new stuff which I'm going to build one day or make videos about building one day. So this is the stuff I've been working on. But what I want to try and do is make a bit more regular content to the channel and just keep uploading a little bit more regularly than I have been. We've been traveling for a couple of years, so it's been the hobby shop stuff all around the world. So everywhere we're going, I'm sort of looking at hobby shops and bits and pieces. But being home now and being at my home base, I've got a lot of stuff here which I can make videos on. And I want to understand what everyone wants to see. So I want to make videos that people want to watch and people want to interact with and engage with. So I thought I'd start with basically once a month doing the Tamiya official release uh, data and, and the stuff that's coming up for, for the RC stuff in specifically. Um, so I'm going to start today with the uh, official launch release for uh, March 2024. So this is the stuff we've got coming through. I've got a little bit of a reader down here. So if I'm looking down, so I'm just reading stuff, but I'll put some pictures up on the screen of the stuff that's coming. Uh, so basically first what we got is we've got a 22081TA08R aluminium motor mount coming. Uh, so that's good for the TA08 chassis. We've got some titanium turnbuckles coming as well, turnbuckle shafts, uh, 22086. So they're four mil by 18 millimeter. Into the cars, uh, so we have another run of the egress. So I've got a egress black up there. So I might get one of the a proper egress to hold onto the new inbox kit. So we've got another run of those coming. Um, so they first came as a re-release back in 2013. So 11 years ago. So it's been a while since they've come out. So we've got another run of those coming. Uh, we've got the Celica GT4 uh, coming on the TTO2 chassis. So I guess that's an older body on a older chassis now, I guess the TTO2 pretty entry level, I would say, into the Tamiya range um, and been around for a little while. So plenty of support from Tamiya and plenty of aftermarket support for that chassis. We've also got a Supra, a JZA80 Supra, which I've got uh, somewhere around here, which I've built before on the TTO1 from memory. Uh, but that's coming actually on the new BT01 chassis. So I'm gonna grab one of those and have a look at it um, when they come out, so March's release. But I guess the big one that I'm waiting for for March is the Hotshot 2 uh, 2024 re-release. So that's uh, model number 58737. Uh, that's something I've been waiting for for a while. I've got a Super Shot uh, built, Super Shot, and I've got a Super Hotshot on the shelf next to a Hotshot on the shelf somewhere up here. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to actually having the three because I like keeping sets of cars, so all the, the sets. So over that side, you can well, you might not be able to see it, but I've got the Wild One, Wild One Blockheads, uh, Fast Attack Vehicle and Fast Attack Vehicle with Shark Mouth. So having the full sets of the of the cars that are released in that series is what I like to hold on the shelves for my new inbox stuff particularly. Um, built stuff, I do have a bit of everything, but that's probably one of the ones I'm really excited about, that Hotshot 2 re-release. It looks amazing. It's been one of the ones I've really, really tried to find secondhand. They're, they weren't super duper duper popular when they were released originally, but I think the re-release, people will get them, build them, run them, and a few people will just chuck them on the shelves as shelf queens and then new in box storage. So that's basically what we've got coming. We've got a body part set coming as well, which is the Alfa Romeo Julia, uh, Julia Sprint GTA Club Racer. So that is a uh, item number 51729, and that's just a body part set that's coming. Uh, so that's basically what we're gonna have for March releases uh, from Tamiya this year. So I know it's a shorter video and i probably talked way way too fast but uh hopefully it's some information that you're excited about and wanted to see like i said i'll try and do a couple of different formats of videos throughout the month and just try and find what really works and what really uh, engages with people i don't just want to make boring content where i'm just sitting here yabbing on i want to make stuff that people actually want to see I do like making unboxing videos, but I find uh, it quite difficult with camera locations by myself. So I'm gonna have to find a, a setup where I can put a couple of cameras in to unbox and, and show you guys through the kits. Cause there's some stuff up here, like uh, this one here, the 49400 um, 934 RSR, that's a limited edition kit. Um, and people really wanna see inside that and see what's actually in that box. There's a couple others that are really, um, yeah, they're, they're cool inside. They look like 
well, my memory as a kid, the Tamiya kits with the blister packs, and that's what I like to see when I open the boxes up. This is why I like the black editions because they've got all that stuff in there. But look, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit shorter than my usual content, but I just want to bring you something more consistently just so you can watch a little bit more and I get a little bit more engagement on the channel. So I hope you've enjoyed it, guys, and we're going to see you in our next video. So if you like this video, there's plenty more on our channel that you're going to love. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up, check out some of the other videos that we've made. I'm sure you'll like them.